Right, welcome to our September update. Um, in August? In August. Still, yeah, not yeah. actually September till mon- uh, Sunday. Sunday, no. We're ahead we, of ourselves. Thought we'd get ahead of ourselves. So, um, we've got a little tour coming up, would you be? Would you believe? <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be sort of towards the middle of September, isn't it? Yeah. Um, just before that, I'm going to have a look over at Todd's, because they've got the new... 6.9 registration, 2020, if I get this right, motorhomes in, and they've got, amongst other things, they've got the new Swift Contiki Sport, which replaces the Swift Bessica range. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm quite excited to go and have a look at that tomorrow. That'll be good. And, and they've uh, got the new Swift Edge, haven't they? The new in- yeah, entry the, level yeah, one. Yeah, the entry level one. They, yeah. they call it entry level. No, yeah. Sorry, the first... Yeah. First, first step. First step or <laughs> yeah. whatever, yeah. yeah. Marketing speak. Yeah. Don't just call anything entry level. <laughs> no, okay. First <laughs> level, yeah. my turn. It, interesting yeah. pricing on that, on those. Uh, I think the there's a six birth one that MMM were re- reviewing. I think it was £47,000. And that's not a bad price for a six birth moto. Yeah. So uh, hopefully um, Todd's will have one of those. Well, perhaps we'll have a look. Um it does look quite interesting. Obviously, they're aimed squarely at some of um, Bailey's um, market as well, I would guess. I was thinking advance, that, that yeah, the ad- yeah. certainly the advance. So, yeah, um, the competition in the... Um, first motorhome. First motorhome market <laughs> <laughs> is, is hotting up, I think. So that would be really interesting. But I'm probably more interested in the Contiki Sport. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, because we've gone from... Swift Bolero to Swift Better Car to Swift Contiki Sport, and that's the same sort of range uh, of the motor that we've moment. got at the moment. So they've still got the Contiki, haven't they? They've still got the Contiki the as it is, yeah. and the Contiki Dynamic, you know, the thing on the... Uh, or the big thing the Aveca, on the truck. Yeah, yeah. On the truck <laughs> chassis, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with the double, double wheels at the back. I yeah. Think. yeah. Um, no, we won't be looking at that. No. I think that's... That's, that's a bit... Too much, really, isn't it? Yeah, bit, yeah, yeah. It's a bit out of our range, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Um, so yeah, so that should be interesting. Um, but we we want to talk today really about the tour that we've got coming up in Yorkshire. We were tempted to call it the Tour to Yorkshire. We thought we'd better not. No, we also were tempted to call it the Coast to Coast. Yeah, because we we're going from Southport to Scarborough, but we thought, yeah. well, we're not actually. Showing any of Southport, are we? So, yeah. so we might just call it a tour D- of the Yorkshire, Yorkshire. Yeah, sort of 19. But <laughs> the Yorkshire tour, yeah. I mean. We can't call it tour of Yorkshire because I think that's a trade name by but, uh, yeah. the cycling, <laughs> cycling, cycling people. people. So we we'll probably yeah. have um, World Cycling Championship people uh, suing us or something. <laughs> yeah, so the Yorkshire so, so tour. So Yorkshire tour. 2019. Yeah. So shall we have a look at it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so the first step, uh, we're actually going to go to... Somewhere we've... Never been. Somewhere where we've never been is Borough Bridge. Which is, you said, is off the A1. It's off the A1. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a couple of ways you can get to it. You could go across on the A65. Yeah, the A59. Or the boring M62. Yeah, and up the A1. It looks about the same both ways, not too too different. So it might do the, the northern route, if you like, to that. It's more miles to go. Yeah, the other definitely more the, miles. Yeah, it's a Borough Bridge Camping and Caravan Club, Club site. So, yeah. I say we've never been to this site before. No, no. And it's interesting, doesn't it? Does it? look interesting. It's not far from York. We booked our standing, so we've been in, in the that sort of area, area there. Yeah. yeah. So I'm sitting outside so of Starburst. Yeah. I'll do a bit of fishing, fishing whilst I'm there yeah. and a bit of canal boating. boating. <laughs> it's by the River Ure, so that's why they've got these pictures there. And there's some grass pictures as well. Yeah, yeah. It does look nice. Mm. And some ducks. And ducks. Yeah, and, and some... you can take a sailboat on yeah. the river. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, so uh, yeah, like so I said. just off the A1. Yeah. It says it's good sight for travelling up and down. Yeah, yeah, actually, I'd never really sort of thought about that as a stop on. If you were no. travelling north to south, it's quite a good one. Yeah, because it's got the usual facilities. Yeah, showers and, and all it's that sort all of stuff. That sort of thing. So. It's quite cheap price, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was £75 for four, for nights, four nights, so that's pretty good. Yeah. So, next one. Next one we're going to is Caton uh, Caton Village. Village Caravan and Motor and Club, Club site. site. Apologies yeah. if it's not Caton. What? What else would it be? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, 
this is interesting because this is a, is a site that the club have taken on, isn't it? Because yeah, they've only just taken it over. It a family-run business. Yeah. Um, so it's not had, it not been refurbished by the club yet, so no. it'll be interesting to see what it's like. See what they've done with it. Yeah, it will be closed while they refurbish That's it next later year, in the year. So they're keeping yeah. it open for another year. I yeah, think I think it. till November it's open and yeah. then they'll, they'll be doing it. You said there's two areas in this Yeah, place. there seems to be an area which has got all super pitches and yeah. super pitches of water waste there's and, beach there. and yeah. Wi-Fi and TV booster right. and then there's the normal service pitch with waste and water and then the other standard yeah. with the awning without a warning yeah it's Cato Bay so yeah for yeah, obvious so, reasons yeah yeah so yeah oh yeah that's the best re- redevelopment yeah that was good in memory of mine wasn't that yeah yeah it's, it's got a village nearby yeah um, but three, where it's, and it's just three miles from Scarborough three miles from Scarborough and there's a local Caton pub Bay. chip shop and village store just a five minute walk away yeah so it does sound quite interesting yeah so Scarborough obviously um, yeah. I'd like to go there and try and visit the castle Bridlington and Robin Hood's Bay yeah. and yeah all that sort of thing yeah so like, like I say they've, they've got these super pitches yeah. With your own free private Wi Fi and oh, TV well. booster. TV point, booster. But We're not, not doing a super pitch. We're yet. not doing a super pitch. So yeah. that's in a separate area. I think it's called the Laurels or something. Okay. And then you've got the main site with all the other pitches yeah. on it. Mm, okay. Yeah. So then we're going to. One of my favourite all time sites. Yeah. Going to York Beachwood Grange for yeah. a couple of nights. Yeah, we have been here before, haven't we? Yeah, we're, but we're I. Recently, we took I like the. It. Um, the Alliance there, didn't we? The no. Alliance or the Advance? I thought we had the car with us last time we were there, so it must oh. have been our own van. Oh, right. Oh, no, I'm thinking of the other one. Aren't I? Yeah, Tree you're Park. thinking of Roundtree Park, yeah. yeah so, so now I really on. like this site. Yeah. It's been refurbished, hasn't it? We've yeah. seen it once since Yeah, that's it's quite happened. a big site. Yeah. And... Uh, but quite peaceful with, somehow. With rainbows. With rainbows, yeah. And, of course, you've got the York Air Museum and... Yeah. You can also get to Revo Abbey, yeah. Helmsley Castle, which we... Revo Abbey, we went last time and it was closed, didn't oh, we? Oh, yeah, you got the Railway Museum. You could go into York for the Railway Museum. Jorvik Centre. Centre. Yeah. yeah. It's on the outskirts of York. We should be able to go there, shouldn't we? Yeah. To these places. Yeah, because, because Glynn will be with us. Yeah. Yeah, Revo Abbey, though, at one point I want to try and get there, yeah. either when we're at the Scarborough site or me. Yeah. Yeah, we've meeting up with Glenn here, so... Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, no, it is. It's, I'm looking forward to this site. Again. Yeah, and if, if you want shops, there's the massive shopping centre nearby. Oh, yeah, yeah. There. there's a couple of big shopping centres nearby, yeah. isn't there? Yeah, if you're missing shopping. If, yeah, if you're dying to do some shopping. Yeah, and I'm then... Not. Next one. Next one. The final one is the Thirsk Race Course. Okay. Um, going to Caravan and Motor Club side, right. but very close to York. The Thirst Grace Course, isn't it? It's next well, door to next it. Next door. Oh, right. sort of give it away there. Yeah. <laughs> While we're there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. And we've been once before years ago, but we picked a time when they were doing the road outside, didn't we? So it was incredibly noisy. Yeah, so the bit. rollers going up and down. Yeah. So this time, hopefully, it'll be a bit quieter. But it, it was nice because yeah. you're it's really grass, close. Yeah. yeah. Right next door to the race course. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think. Oh, and dogs. It's good for dogs. Good, good for dogs, yeah. yeah. But you can walk into Thirsk very easily yeah. from there with yeah. all its well, pubs, pubs and, and pubs and pubs. And I remember there was a chip shop just round the corner. Yeah. And you, there's some super stores aren't there just nearby. Yeah. yeah. So you've got everything really. Yeah. Two supermarkets. Could possibly yeah. ever need. Yeah. And it's not far from the A1, the A19. Yeah, that's right. So it's a good overnight stop if for nothing else. And yeah. there's Hemsley Helmsley, again. Hemsley, Masham, be yeah. there. Yeah. It's like says the various National Trust and English Heritage, Revo, Jervo Abbey and yeah. Bylands. And Fountains Abbey, which we want to try and fit in on what, one when of the, we're staying from at one, one of the of them. sites, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 we're not travelling too far as you can see. No. But the real reason we're going to the Thirsk site is because the Thirsk Motorhome and Caravan show is on there and our friend Aileen's got a stand there. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's a new show. It's the first time it's ever been there, so it'd be interesting to see what What's on offer? They've got motorhomes and caravans, statics, and, and camping, camping exhibition. exhibition. Yeah. But it's also tied in with the what do they call it? Two there it is two thousand and nineteen Road World Championships, the cycling event. Yeah, 
and uh, they're sort of co-advertising. I think, the, is it the start or I can't think? No, it's Harrogate. It's, Harrogate's as the As far start. as I can see, the roots go to like whores and yeah. uh, butter tubs and things like that. Yeah, so, so if exactly. you're into, into cycling, then this is probably yeah. uh, quite a useful well, thing to look out for. Yeah, yeah. And you could take in some motorhomes and caravans as well. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah. Well, that'd be good. Yeah, so that's, I think the show's on for about three days. When we're there, yeah. Yeah, and obviously from there we're, we're heading home. We'll have to come home, I suppose, yeah, won't we? We'll find our way home. So that, that's our plans for September. Um, yep. Anything else to add? Don't think so. No. no. So that takes us up to the end of September, doesn't yeah. it? And then obviously when we get to October, we'll think about the NEC, aren't we? Yeah, we'll be into the NEC and it'll be autumn and yeah and winter then it'll be winter <laughs> <laughs> yeah and there's no. not much on air no so we're, we're sort of coming into the uh, looking at motones and caravans sort time of season year. time yeah. of year with the, with the various shows uh, coming up and uh, yeah so sort of watch out for our reviews this is quite a few exciting new motones coming out soon so um we'll, we'll be trying to look at as many we'll, as we can we'll be trying to do that won't we yeah yeah, yeah. so I think that's it, unless I can think of anything else. Is there anything else in there? Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Gone completely blank. Now. Now, Perhaps yeah. I should have written something down. but Probably, yeah. 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 You might see me reappear yeah. after I've said... Uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, I forgot <laughs> to tell you. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, uh, hit the notifications icon, and we'll keep you updated as and when we appear at our various places. That we appear at? Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> right, bye then. Bye then, see you soon.